The film is about ex-lovers who reignite an affair in the physically charged romantic drama. They agree to love and make love to the fullest in their limited time together before the wedding. The film is 2019 released Japanese drama and the title of the movie is It feels so good. The film starts out with Kenji, an unemployed 30-something divorcee, seems on a river bank, fishing half-heartedly, then getting a phone call from his unseen dad, informing him that his cousin Naoko is getting married. Naoko is getting married to an older career military man who is in charge of disaster relief missions in five days. He is involved in some national security briefing right now. It turns out Kenji and Naoko shares a past. They both were young and very much in love. Naoko even kept a graphic photo album full of their physical relation acts taken by themselves. They used to explore every inch of each other's body. The memories of their affair come flooding back and they can't keep their hands off each other. They will continue to have physical relation until the day Nako's fiancé returns. But mostly, both have physical relation in his old mother's house, her parents' house and her big empty new home which she will move into with her husband after the wedding. It is slowly revealed why they are not together. Kenji got someone pregnant and had to marry. Nako only wants to marry the military man because she wants to have a baby. Obviously, they have made some bad choices in their life. They realize incest among cousins is looked down upon in Japanese society. But Japan is one of a few countries which allows the first cousins to marry. There is a talk of the inevitable eruption of Mount Fuji, the scared mountain of Japan. They reminisce about how they made love in front of large picture of Mount Fuji, swearing their love into the volcano as if sacrificing themselves to the mountain gods. They even took a picture to commemorate that night. She wanted to become a mother after witnessing so much death, but later adds that she is also suffering from a kind of survivor guilt as the resident of disaster area, but itself relatively untouched by death or destruction. Kenji, meanwhile, struggles to emerge from the ashes of his failed marriage, which seems to have sent him into a self-destructive alcoholic spiral that cost him his career and left him living aimlessly in the city.